I'm Landon Hoff with Denver 7, obviously Colorado bracing uh, for potential heavy snowfall this weekend. The Denver 7 digital team is covering every angle of it uh, to keep you ready on the denverchannel.com and our digital platforms. Among them, Ryan Osborne, who we bring in now. Ryan, obviously, heavy snowfall can be a little bit of a hassle, especially in the Denver metro area, but Colorado needs this snowfall and it could actually help when it comes to snowpack. Tell us uh, what you've been looking into on that front. Yeah, you know, it's really going to be beneficial to have a, a heavy precipitation of any kind just due to the, the low snowpack levels compared to normal, but also the drought across the state. Uh, a lot of the state is in extreme drought conditions. It's been so dry over the last year. So any precipitation at all is going to help. But also in the high country, the snowpack uh, is, is well below normal levels, about 85% of normal. Uh, so a heavy snow like this can really be beneficial to give a little boost uh, to the snowpack, which is very important when it comes to just the state's water resources and also uh, later in the year wildfires uh, are affected when it's more dry. Okay, so Ryan, you say snowpack is about 85% of normal. Is it, do we expect spring snow to boost that snowpack? Is that something we've seen before? Yeah, we usually do see that, you know, March is really Colorado is one of the snowiest months and, and into the spring, you know, one big snowstorm isn't going to be the, isn't going to solve the problem, no matter how big it is, but it could really kind of kickstart a snowy spring going into March, later in March and April. And, uh, you know, we saw two years ago, 2019, uh, we're nowhere near those levels of snowpack, but we had a really snowy March and it really, you could see the graphs, it really peaked into March and April. So having a big snowstorm like this can really kind of kickstart uh, you know, providing a good base and kickstart for a snowy spring. And it could at least help play some catch up with the snowpack being that it's so low. Well, certainly good news uh, for the state. As you mentioned, we're seeing those drought conditions. So anyone out there not a snow fan, stick through it. Colorado needs it. You can look at Ryan's story right now on the denverchannel.com. Get all you need to know about snowpack and how this storm will help as, as well as other great content. Ryan, thanks for the insight. And you can track this storm with us in real time with our 24-7 weather channel right here on the Denver 7 streaming app. We have up-to-the-minute radars and constantly updated forecasts all in that 24-7 weather stream. Just hit your back button and look for Denver 7 weather 24-7 to watch now.